morning. We're here on China Hat Road where it crosses the Crater Rim Trail. Today we're going to go over to uh, Spalina Peak. I believe it's about five miles one way and uh, the trail is real nice. It's going to be real scenic. It's a clear day so let's go see what we find. Well the rim trail is real scenic in this area. It's just a single track trail. Let's see it's uh, September 13th by the way. We're starting just a little before 10 o'clock about 5 to 10. Here's the view to the south. Pretty nice, a little hazy, with a lot of fires in the area still. This, I believe, is Sand Butte up on the hill there. Well, we've been seeing some bear tracks along the trails this morning. There's another shot to the south in Sand Butte. More decent views to the south and maybe a little to the west. Here we are at the intersection of the Lost Lake Trail, number 3958.2, and the Crater Rim Trail, which we are on. This goes over to Pumice Flat, which is only about a mile over that way. Kind of a neat area. But we're going this way, staying on the Crater Rim Trail. This is a fairly narrow ridge that we're going along now. It drops off fairly quickly to the left. A little more quickly to the right. We're up above Pumice Flat, you can see down there. Part of it anyway. Still going along the ridge. Getting a little bit of a view of Bachelor and uh, South Sister. And maybe the other sisters too. It looks a little foggy, or not foggy, looks a little smoky over there. A lot of fires over that way. See them there? Here we are at the intersection of Crater Rim Trail, which we are on, and this is the Lost Lake Trail down here. This goes down to the uh, Pumice Flat area. And this took us about an hour and ten minutes to get to. It's around just under three miles from where we started. And the Polina Peak is ahead that way, which is the way we're going to go. Some nice views to the south and west again. And then over this way we've got the lake and Palina Peak. There's Palina Lake. And the peak is up there which is where we're going to be going a little bit. Well, there's Palina Lake and the Big Obsidian. Looks like the uh, mountains are getting smoked in now. Look over there. You can barely see the top of South Sister. You can't see the bottom of it. It's smoked in. Still plugging along here. So this is Pumice Flat, that uh, light sandy spot you see down there. That's This is off to the right of the trail. This is the uh, big obsidian flow in the foreground here and East Lake in the background. And then Paulina Lake is over here. You can see how the end of the obsidian flow is there. That's looking over the obsidian flow again over towards East Lake. Uh, the trail goes around kind of behind the back of uh, like to the south side of Palina Peak which is kind of the way we're going now. Here's a nice view of the peak from down below a little ways and Palina Lake. Look at the mountains all disappeared back there from the, in the smoke. Kind of an interesting view of the peak though. All the video never really captures the the full uh, coolness of stuff. There's an obsidian flow not far down below us here. Well, 
onwards up to the peak. The woods change a little bit here. I think it turns into a hemlock forest. Predominantly hemlock trees. Pretty though. I've seen a few deer today. There's Diamond Peak off in the smoky haze. This is where the uh, Crater Rim Trail crosses the road that goes to the peak. So we just came up right there. That goes to the peak. The trail picks up across the road here again. So the area, once you cross the road, and before you get to the peak is kind of neat. It kind of goes up a, a wash. Uh, just kind of an interesting area. Yep, definitely an interesting area up here. The trees thin out a little bit. I believe these are those white bark pine that they're... They've been trying to do their best to uh, save them. They were struggling for, I guess, a number of reasons. I think there's a beetle or something that's been bringing a disease in. Opens up pretty good up in this area. Okay, here we are at the intersection of the Crater Rim Trail and then this is the spur trail that goes up to Palina Peak. It's only a quarter mile. You can drive up there so we're probably not going to go up there today. But the peak is up that way. We came this way at 6.14 miles to here from China Hat Road. Well, the mountains are pretty smoked in. You can barely see them. There is a nice view of Palana Lake. The peak is up here. There's a whole group of school kids up there. So we're not going to be going up there today, but it's pretty cool if you ever want to make the extra quarter mile up there. We're probably going to head back down the Crater Rim Trail. Well, we're back down from the peak, which is up there. That's where we just were a few minutes ago. Or half an hour ago, I should say. It's a rugged little mountain. And the overview of the lakes is always pretty. Good fishing in the lakes, trout and uh, kokanee salmon in both lakes. Rainbow trout, bound trout. There's the big obsidian flow. Pretty neat area. Okay, here we are back to the Lost Lake cutoff down to um, Pumice Flat. So that means we've got nine miles down and three to go. Back to the uh, China Hat Road. It's a pretty fun hike. Still working our way back towards China Hat Road. Here we are back to the Lost Lake Trail. One little old mile left back to China Hat Road. That goes to Pumice Flat. And we're going this way. Okay, that's the end of our hike for today. We're back at China Hat Road. It took us five hours and 20 minutes. The hike ended up being 12 miles, uh, just a little bit over 12 and a quarter miles. 
uh, and having hiked the whole 21 miles of the um, Crater Rim Trail, I can say that this is the best part of it as far as scenery and also it's uh, the best part of the single track trail. A lot of the a lot of the Crater Rim Trail is a road and snowmobile trail, so this is the nicest part of it. Uh, the peak area is great. You can drive up to the peak, so you may see some people up there when you get there. But um, So that's all for today from uh, Newberry National Volcanic Monument. We thank you for watching the video. hope you enjoyed it, and happy hiking.